What's up everyone, Namco here, Dustin there, talking fancy basketball, talking about bus, but really talking about overvalued. These are guys that are just going higher in, in drafts than we would like to draft them where we would draft them. Bus slash overvalued, does that make Makes sense? sense. And sometimes it can only be like, we think they're going a half a round too early for the for the guys that are in the early rounds, but right, still. But half a round in the early yeah. rounds makes. You might overpay for a guy when you could have gotten a guy that was a sleeper on the other side. So it's, it, uh, it definitely does make a difference. Most the of these guys won't find their way into our teams. It is, probably not, because they'll go a little too high. But it is early October. We will have our rankings and our cheat sheet up on the site later this week. Click on the link in the description, and we will be updating that throughout the preseason, so be sure to check back often. First guy I'm gonna talk about is Brandon Knight, Phoenix Suns. He almost averaged 20 points a game last year, so how could it be on this? He's on this because we love Devin Booker. And if they have Bledsoe, they have Knight, and they have Booker, there's going to be an odd man out. We feel that odd man out is going to be Knight. Nikola Jokic is next. Now, this is a young guy, young center that we do really like. And But the problem is everybody likes him. <laughs> that has driven his draft position way up. I mean, he's going, you know, we don't really have a lot of ADPs to go off of, a lot, not a lot to really base this off of in terms of, like, where he's going. But... Where we've seen him ranked and where we, it seems like he's going to be going, it's like the third round. I mean, he could easily average a double-double. You know, he's easily going to be, you know, a, a good center. But, I mean, is he worth a third-round pick? You know, we think that's a little bit too rich. There's a lot of other centers. That point you can get that are yeah. more of a sure thing. Next guy I'm talking about is Avery Bradley of the Boston Celtics. Now, he had a solid year last year, but in comes Al Horford. With, with Al there and with Isaiah Thomas there, Bradley, all of a sudden, his shots are going to go. He's going to get way less shot attempts. And he'll hit, sure, he might be a little more open for some three balls, but it, the volume's just not going to be there. So, therefore, we got to move him down. Miles Turner next for the Pacers. We do like this guy again. Like, this is an exciting young player, but people are just getting too excited about him. I mean, he had a run last year where he was started, playing starter minutes. He was around 13, 7, and 2. And I think that that's very plausible, that he could, he could average that for the whole year. But again, like he's going right around where Jokic was going, right around kind of the where he's being projected is in the third round. And we just think that's just a little too early. I mean, he's not just gonna go from being a role player to going straight to 20 and 10 with three blocks a game. I mean, it's just, it's, we're not seeing that big of a jump. All right, the next guy, while it kind of pains me to say this, is Otto Porter of the Washington oh, Bullets. Oh, your boy. So, and yes, Bullets, Wizards, I still come the Bullets. Not my boy. I've never liked Otto Porter, first of all. I didn't think he was a great fit. For, I mean, he was the best pick. They, I digress. 11 and 6. That was kind of what his best output was last year. That's what he's going to be again this year. So, sure, that could be good as a deep sleeper, things like that. But this guy's ranked, like, in pre-ranks 14 spots over Bradley Beal, his own teammate, who's significantly better on him. I get it. Beal gets hurt. No, else he's over. He's over guys like Drummond or Jabari Parker. Th that's yeah, you're not nuts. Doing that. You're not he, doing that. It's near, he, he's not that good. He's, he's the, he is the, the fourth option on the offense, and he's not even an option. Can't even open threes when John Wall gives him open threes. <laughs> that makes no sense. Uh, that's a good time. <sighs> Kimba Walker's next. Oh, now, this is a guy, he had a career year. His percentages were up. He scored over 20 points for the first time. You know, it's, and he's going to have another good year. But we're just calling it a little bit of a fluke. He was asked to do a lot for that team last year out there with the Hornets. And we just see him going back to where he's been over the last handful of years or so, right around like 17 points, solid stats across the board. But you're going to have to spend an early second round pick probably if you want him on your team. And we're just saying that's probably a little high. I'd rather have another early second round pick. Yes. All right, Rudy Gobert is the next guy I'm talking about. And, and Gobert really burned people last year, right? It, he went at the end of the first round in a ton of leagues. And last year he averaged nine points, 11 rebounds. This year he's going just slightly lower than that, which is still nuts. That's what he is. He's a double-double guy. Sure, he's gonna get you the blocks, which are really nice. But you, know, you can get Julius Randle 70 picks later, and it's going to be similar production. So don't waste that early second or even late second on him. And before you hate, uh oh, Clay Thompson. Ooh. Oh, hang Dustin, on. what do you think? Clay Thompson's hang awesome. Hang he on. can shoot. <laughs> he can shoot. He can hit threes. Someone has to get hurt out there with Durant coming. I mean, Curry's probably, you know, he's going to score a few less points. Draymond Green doesn't score a ton of points anyway. It's got to be Clay, right? I mean, it's got to be Clay yeah. that takes the biggest hit. Maybe not like 10 points, but at, you've got to think at least five or six. 
at least a few less shots a game. And it's just going to be hard for a lot of people, I think, when you get, you know, right around that late second, early third, and you see Clay Thompson, and you remember what he's done and what he can I do. I did a mock last night, and I took him, and I was like, ah, don't fall into the trap. It's, it's going to be hard not for a team not to fall in that trap, which means he's probably not going to fall far enough to where you probably make sense for you to draft him. But it's just a little risky, right? I mean, they're not going to score a buck 50 a game. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> or might. they might, yeah, it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> All right, Marvin Williams is my last guy. And he's getting hype in fantasy, and I don't understand why. Sure, Michael Jordan was an idiot and paid the guy four years, uh, over $50 million for four years for Marvin Williams. Are you kidding me? This is another 11-6 and six guy, power forward, that, that he just hasn't been good for his entire career. I don't see why this year is going to be his breakout. He is what he is. He shouldn't be going in the middle rounds of drafts. He should be going... If anything, deep leagues at the very end. And it always seems like centers get overdrafted. It always seems like people get so excited about wanting, you know, a double double center and they're willing to get him a couple rounds earlier. Valen Kunis is another guy. I mean, this guy's been overdrafted his entire career. He's had really good stretches and he is a good center. But again, he's kind of going late third, early, early fourth. And like I like what Brent was saying earlier with Randall, like, you know, if you're just worried about rebounds, you know, you can get some guys later. You know, a lot of power fours have center eligibility, so you can look at those guys and you don't have to have a true center. You know, like pay attention to, to where the eligibility is and, and get some late round sleepers and, and get some of your more skilled positions around that. He's also being drafted because Bismack biombo has gone. It's not that big a deal. Get what? He played all the minutes anyway. <laughs> Jeez. It's not that big a deal. So this is our bust slash overvalued again. We like some of these guys. We don't think they're going to have bad years. We just think they're going a little bit too early. Three. That Subscribe was to our channel. Give you us a thumbs see it, up. Perfect. Leave us some comments, good or bad, hopefully good. I Clay Thompson did because he's going to be awesome. <laughs> 35 again. Easy. 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 <laughs>